Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for February the 27th through March 5th, 2017. So let's just take a moment to take a really deep breath to just relax where you are and let go of everything that is on your mind. And in doing so with your breath, have this sensation that you are releasing from your heart anything that does not need to be there, anything that causes you to feel a slight imbalance or um, anything that worries you, just let the breath cleanse your heart. Don't worry about how to release it. Just breathe and let the breath cleanse your heart. And so as this week begins, and we're sort of seeing and sensing that there is some things that are coming up for you where you're going to have to be in a, a place of great faith and to really trust your intuition. And as they keep showing me the number six, it means um, don't worry, okay? I always think about the Bob Marley song, don't worry about a thing, everything's going to be all right. So they want you to release your concerns they are indicating that there are layers involved here. So the things that you may be focused upon with worry, they involve layers. And those layers are not, they don't all belong to you, okay? They don't all belong to you. They are growing out of many they're showing me they're, they're coming, uh, growing out of other people's um, concerns or their own things, their drama. And so when you worry about something, you have to be aware that you're drawing in all these other layers, uh, not only people, but the circumstances that are involved and the things that need to take um the things that need to process within a situation. And so worry is not the best place. It's not the, what I'm hearing is location for your attention. Instead, they would ask you to direct your attention towards the bigger picture, as they're showing me sort of a big movie screen. And also they're showing me a huge sign billboard. So it's like they want you to focus on, as they wrote there, love, the signs that you get. And they want you, you're not trusting in your the things, you're not putting your faith in the outcome that you're seeking. You're putting your faith in love. That's what, that's what you need to trust. You need to trust what you were inspired. That's what love does. Love inspires. So the things that you've been inspired to do or to seek out through love, that's where you need to put your attention. So instead of looking for the outcome of abundance, as they're showing me the little fairies with the, uh, look like the um, Monopoly guy with the top hat, and those are the uh, abundance fairies. And so, <laughs> Instead of putting your outcome on that, on the, the abundance, place your attention, look for signs of inspiration because that is what you need to follow. That's the action, those, those what you're inspired to do are, are inspired actions that are guided by the universe, helping you to stay focused, to stay, um, and, and stay focused on what you love, okay? And if you stay focused on what you love, then all those other things, that very complicated 
um, the behind the scenes stuff that the universe orchestrates for you, uh, when you, you allow that, mo that movement to happen more fluidly and easily as it should because it wasn't meant for you to work out all those loose ends. The universe is responding to your priorities, your, that is to say the priority of your heart. And if you focus there too, then the dynamic that is created there or that unfolds right at that precise moment that that will become even clearer like like a crystal and and like a crystal when something becomes crystal clear that is also being amplified and so you're doing vast amounts of work when you do this that when you the work that you want to do the work the things that the way that you want things to work out and not wanting just because you see a specific um, outline, you know, or map or uh, that you've planned all out in your mind. But what they mean by this is that you want the best opportunities for yourself. And they can give them to you when you focus on the inspired actions that you are given by focusing where you where where you where, on the things that you love in life and they can then orchestrate the best outcome for you so take your attention from the worry move it to what you love every time you worry let that be an indication that that's not where you need to be that's why it doesn't feel good now why do we stay somewhere where it doesn't feel good you typically would not do that. And there's the, the angels of, of manifestation and alchemy are kind of showing me that this is a huge piece for you to understand in developing your own manifestation abilities. When things don't feel good, don't stop and investigate it because you feel like you gotta be a good detective. Like you just have to know everything in order to be alert and aware, you know, like stay on top of this attitude. And all it does is when you open it up, you're in some place that wasn't meant for you to be. And then because you are a creator, naturally, manifestation is natural. You're doing it all the time, whether you like what you get or not. So the whole point is, is that when you investigate those things that you don't want, because you are a creator life force, and if you've heard me say this before, imagine that you are like a light that is that shines wherever you look, wherever you are, you shine this light like the brilliance of the sun, and the sun energizes and amplifies and empowers. So you empower wherever you are, you amplify it, and so you don't want to amplify this energy that you don't like or that doesn't feel good or that's negative okay let's just think of negative it's not something evil or bad it's just doesn't feel good it's just not right for you that's all it means and so you don't want to stay there and amplify that you want to put it where you want that where, where your goals are where your aspirations are where your where you've been inspired where your passions are take all of that life force and shine it there instead amplify this and if you can consistently work and and i know it's difficult because hey i'm human too but i'm just listening to them right now and i may not sound like it but i am human and so um and i do know how difficult it is to let something go you know that's just you know you feel like you gotta handle this and I get it, but I'm also hearing them too right now in this moment, and I get it. it, it, it we have to, this is, our, this is a tool that they're giving us to help us to clarify our own abilities. So this is a, an, an inspired guidance to help us 
to inspire our lives so that we can live, thrive in our own inspiration rather than struggling in our own negative you know, outcomes or potential outcomes, right? So it's about redirecting that energy. And as you learn to do this, as you learn to, and don't beat yourself up about it when you don't do it right away, but as it gets easier for you to do, this is when you know that you're manifesting success towards being clearly focused on your intentions, your heart's priorities. And it's just all it means is this is what we should be um, putting our attention towards and making one of our goals is to, to align with our heart's priorities. The better we get at that. So, yeah, there are things going outside in the world and things that have to be done and, you know, things you want to succeed at, you know, but this is the thing, if we can learn to succeed with at this, then it'll be so easy to succeed outside of this part of ourselves. Because we want to bring what's inside, we want it to be an extension, the outside to be an extension of, of what we, what our heart tr truth truly is. I know there's a couple, you know, doubling up on words here, but if you get what I'm saying. So right now, everything is really reflecting what's going on inside, but what it's reflecting right now is where your focus, and when, if, if where your focus is not where you, what you want, then it's teaching you, helping you to understand not to get upset with yourself and other people and start blaming yourself or other people, but to just recognize that you're focused in a way that you don't want to focus and then redirect that towards what you love and what you're inspired. Don't The, the best way to get out of this sort of situations is to just start looking for inspiration. So for me this year, my new year's resolution was to just live inspired, to keep focusing on what inspires me, you know? Um, and it's, this is my simple resolution because out of this, when you think about it, and if you ask yourself, you know, what inspires me right now? Right now, not long-term, but in everything that you're doing right now, how can you live in an inspired way? Even if you're in something, um, a job and you, you hate it, but there that creative force within you can find inspiration out of in anything because it's everywhere. And it's just about perspective when we are with within that inspiration or feeling locked out. And so it's about how you're using your mind and aligning that with your heart. And you can do that at in any situation. And know it seems difficult. And what they're showing me right now is, yeah, you get your tissues, clear, you know, get it out of your system, uh, clean, clean out your eyes or whatever you need to do, and then redirect and come at this situation from a fresh point of view. And you'll find it. I know because I've done this even before I even knew this advice um, that they're talking about today when I was working in and my job and so you have to you can do it you just have to remove all of the other limitations that you're focused on and create within it see it what I did was I created within and I said okay so this person this is a problem this is a problem this is a problem this is a, okay so that's all problems but what about me and I decided to change the way I was doing my job, my role, and, and, and how I looked at my role and my job. And I just created within this, this world, within a world where everything I did started thinking creatively and thinking to inspire those uh, that I was working for, in this case, my students, my classroom. So, and it worked. It just, for me, it redirected everything. And all those other problems were still out there and everything else was going on the way it was going on. But when I was in that space, in that time where with them, I redirected this and it was all about the creativity and all about the inspiration. So it can be done, okay? So let's just um, take a look and see 
Let's take a look at the card for the theme of the week and see what message we have from the Archangel Oracle deck. Ah, and we have Clairvoyance, the Archangel Raziel. So talking about manifestation here. <laughs> and um, he says he's helping you with your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So that's exactly what we were just talking about. And so it, Archangel Raziel is trying to help you, first of all, to trust your intuition, trying to help you make that connection between how you see things and how your focus is creating your reality. And that you can shift that the way by connecting in through your intuition that's inspiring you, that's always giving you inspiration, it's always helping you to see the divine. And through your own eyes, if you would trust what you're receiving. So they, he's, he's sort of showing me right now, he's, he's showing me that the, first of all, they want you to know that your, your angels, your guardian angels are standing by you right now and that he wants you to ask your angels to support you to strengthen your support you know you got to give them permission to really help you out in these really tricky and difficult situations so you can call upon your angels to amplify your own intuition and when you're in a situation that you find confusing or that's you know that burdens you or worries you heavily Ask them to shift your perspective. Ask them to, to flood your heart with inspired and intuitive instincts that will allow you to move beyond the emotional baggage that you are sinking your teeth into in this situation. So, you know, he's, he's giving me a sense that right now there's a lot of emotions, just a lot of baggage, a lot of emotional baggage that and that we're carrying around. And it's a little bit too much. It's, it's like being a little bit overweight in a sense. And the way they're showing me the image. And it's time for you to exercise to and, and your, your, your intuitive muscles in a situation so that you can make those decisions more accurately and without feeling um, sort of tangled uh, or entangled. So the, the, the sense I'm getting here is that he wants you to really, um, when you feel like there's this, all this emotional baggage and all these things and this person, you gotta think about this person, to just focus on yourself, focus on what makes you happy. You cannot discover the path of happiness for yourself while trying to uh, calculate everyone else's happiness at the same time. It just doesn't work that way. You gotta trust that when you give yourself this opportunity to make a choice that makes you happy, that you are, not every decision that you make is going to make other people happy, but it can empower them by seeing you achieve successfully your own happiness and then inspire them to do likewise. In that way, you help solve the problems that you're dealing with. You don't help people by trying to always help them by sacrificing yourself. What you're teaching them it's just what you just did, which is not healthy. And it causes you to be a less a lesser vibration than what you are meant to be, to be a true uh, leader and inspirer. And you want to empower people through the choices in your uh, that you make in your own life. You want to empower them. You want to make them independent. And you have to be willing to choose your own independence in order for that to happen. So this is about 
you being so what, what I'm getting a sense from the angels is, is that a lot of what's dampening your manifestation abilities is this is that you are not willing maybe it's a little harsh but you're not willing or you're unable to make choices that truly make you happy that you can't go you know let's say if there was a 100% thing here from 90 to 100% or 80 to 100%. You you can't go for that 100% because you're thinking about other people and the problems that it will cause for them. And in doing so, by seeing them in this weakness, in this weak state, because what you're saying is that if you don't do, or if you don't be a certain way, they can't be, or they can't and whatever that means because that's, that's a lot of things that that could mean and I think that's how they want that to be said and in doing so you not only weaken your own position you weaken theirs because when you're inspired to do something and this is why you don't go after the things that you deserve and then you find yourself they're showing me the cross struggling and you know in your life and and feeling like you're always trying to having to survive and you're tired of that energy and I know you are we all are we're tired of surviving and that comes from living beneath our worth and that happens because we're always afraid that if we're happy if we go for that 100% we make that decision that that's that's that 100% value of what the universe believes is possible for you and is ready to give to you that it'll compromise everyone else's 100%. And that is the exact opposite. If you go for that 100%, you will inspire everyone else to be that 100%. You lift them up there by doing your 100%. So don't hold back, okay? And you you have so much more to offer everyone in the end. All right, let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week. Okay, so we have, again, this, the Archangel Ariel's card, the Five of Ariel. We had this card come up in the weekly reading as well. And I'm really here to tell you, this card represents a sign for you when you're doing just that, when, when you are operating beneath your worth, your afraid of that 100%. As you can see in this card, it, one of the things I like about it is that the that you can see behind the Archangel Ariel is all this light. Now, to, for me, this card represents the church. You know, uh, I think in scripture, you know, it says that your body is the temple of God. So this this represents for me, the the church represents the the house of your 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 soul but then there's that inner light that your inner truth your spirit that's housed within it and we have this separation between who we are or this disconnect between our true inner truth and who we are or believe who we are because churches are a place of faith right and, and who we believe we are on the outside and in the world and our and what how we see the world you can't you 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 can't disconnect the two so the thing is is that what you need to do is be open to the help you've been what this card is telling me right now is that you've been getting inner guidance you've been inspired to see your truth in ways where you've been guided to to do things that would provide you the answers and the solutions and the opportunities that you're seeking, yet you're afraid of them because what you see on the outside and what you believe about the world outside of your inner spirit is different somehow. And you, you are afraid to believe in what you're guided to do. And so here, this card is, for me, it's like a sign reminding you that you need to be, find that inner balance, okay? Find that connection 
that, that whatever you're doing, whatever you're focused on is distorting that connection that is helping you to feel as though you're thriving in life rather than surviving in life. And so this card also means reach out for help. Um, but first, the help that you've been inspired to do. Everything comes from within. Even if there's someone that you were to reach out to, that will come as inspired guidance, inspired guidance, not from a place of fear. Like, you know, sometimes when you're feeling panicked and frantic, you start, your mind starts to just shoot off in all directions and you start feeling this panic inside and anxiety and you start making decisions from that. That is not guidance. And that's, I think we all know that. So the thing is, is that at this point, what is it that you know in your heart you should be doing, but you're afraid of it? You don't need to be afraid of whatever that is. Just take that step and see what happens. That's what we do. That's the only thing that you can do no matter what happens in life. You can only take that step that you're guided that feels best to you and see what happens. Don't worry about outcomes. You don't know, the person may not provide you with the kind of help you were looking for, but they may provide you with some other form of help, like pointing you in a, a direction that you need to be or you need to see. So just follow your messages that you're given, okay? All right. Let me take a look at the card for the middle of the week. And, and have you noticed this lately? I mean, I shuffled these cards. It, we've been getting a lot of Archangel Ariel's cards, and we've been getting a lot of the similar ones as well. I, and so here we are. Um, this card came up in the daily card messages for last week as well. And this is a card It says, focus on what you love. This is about being in the workshop. This card can represent um, collaborations, um, working with a team. But looking at this card right now, this is notice how certain things in the background blend. So you, the thing that this one thing this card says to me is that you're looking for help, referring to the first card, okay? But there's all kinds of things around you at this moment. See in your work, this his workshop. Now notice how there's sort of a lens blur with this particular card. I think it's the only one in this deck. I'm not sure, but I think it is. And what happens is as you focus on the things that you love, okay, then what happens is things begin to fade into the background. You start, you know, as you start sifting through, and you and when, once you're in that place where you everything that's surrounding you is everything that you um, would love to focus upon, then it just becomes it just becomes easier for everything to just sort of fade out in the background, and the things that really matter at this moment sort of come forward as it does in this picture for you. You you you'll stumble upon something that will. Um, that was already in the back of your mind, but you just weren't hearing it. Have you ever noticed how that happens to you? It's like it was there all along because when you see it, you feel like you've already, it's like you recognize something. It's like you, you, you knew it already, but you just didn't know it until you saw it in that moment. And that's what happens when you focus on the things that you're passionate about. When you put your attention, all that creative, uh, creator attention to the things that inspire you, then eventually that process refines itself for you and you're able to focus in or hone in on something that's specific and truly important. And so I get a sense that for the middle of the week, as you, as you let go of the things, of the decisions that would cause you to compromise going for that 100%, and you start to truly just say, what is it 100% that my heart is guiding me to do right now? That that's going to begin to put you in the right headspace, put you in the proximity of possibilities and opportunities. I'm talking about like 
tangible things, not just sort of ethereal things, but tangible things. So this is going to be a little bit of a work starting off at the beginning of the week. But you're going to get this clarity, as Archangel Raziel has been saying. You're going to, as you start working in this way, the clarity will come um, in the middle of the week where, you, where you, the wheels will start to, to turn for you. And so look for this to come through your, the work you're doing, okay? Um, the, or that there may be some people you're working with. This means that you may want to just sort of brainstorm or collaborate with some people um, or just listen and be open. Think about things in a very different way. You know, these may be things that you've had around you all the time, but now you need to look at them differently. Go look at it from a different angle, if you will. All right, let me just tune in and just see if there's any additional information I'm sort of picking up about this. There... There is a, I feel like for some of you, they're showing me a tree trunk and a very wide one. So it shows me, a, you know, that there's a um, strong connection here. But they put the number Roman numeral two. And before, when I was shuffling, uh, a card fell out, the two of air, two of Michael, uh, two of swords, which is about, you know, being in a gridlock about a decision. And so it, when I saw this number, Roman number two, it brought that card back to mind that had fell, fallen out of the deck. I just put it back in because I saw it and I just wanted to say, give it a chance to reappear, but they're bringing it back to my attention. So the thing is, is that there's an important decision, okay? And that you're gonna come across in the middle of the week. The only way for that, that the, the only way for you to arrive at that decision and you will, is the sense I'm getting, um, is to trust what you love, okay? Go with the one that fulfills you the most, you. It may not work for everybody else, but that doesn't matter. Focus on you, okay? And if you can't give that to yourself without, then just ask yourself what that would look like if all of those other things weren't there. Would you still choose that? Would that be your 100%? Is that choice 100% worthy of you? Would it empower you 100%? And then put everybody else back in there one by one. And not that you're putting them back in as if you're going to solve their problems, but see how you being 100% would help them to be 100% because you keep seeing them as less than that 100%. And that's the problem. Whenever you see someone as less than, even though despite what's going on on the outside, you are devaluing their 100% truth, source consciousness, spirit within them. Everyone is 100% inside, no matter what they do on the outside. And so the only way to activate that 100% within them, you have to activate your own and they will come up to it. But it's not your job if they do. You may inspire them now, but it may not show till much later in the, down the road, but that's not your concern. Yours is to be who you are now, so that you can activate it. The activation is important, okay? All right, let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. And another Michael card. So kind of saying the same thing here, this card is about being patient. Um, it says you've invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest, review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So this card is showing you that there some of the things that are going to occur for you. It's going to take some time and patience and mainly patience with yourself. Okay. As you are going to be rediscovering um, who you are and what your heart truly is desiring. So I get a sense that, looking at his crystal, that you're going to have to, in this week, you're going to be getting um, clear, crystal clear about what your heart really wants. It, this is gonna be a week where things are gonna be clearing out, like we're in that meditation, like just sort of letting those things sort of go from the heart that don't belong there. That's not really, 
you know, somehow we get it kind of confused, get it twisted. So like the two of swords, right? That card that fell out. And we need to um, get, we need to let things clear up for us within. And so I feel like that's what's going to be happening as you get towards the weekend is that you just need to allow things, be patient with yourself, allow things to come through. And um, just know that that even though you don't see the results right here and there, that they are materializing, all right? And so as the card suggests, it's, it's empowering you to know that you did the, you made the right decision. You're gonna have made the right decision, but you're just gonna have to wait to see how things unfold, okay? So what, what if, that, if that's a, a job interview or something, you're gonna, it, you're going to hear something, but you're going to have to wait to hear something. Or if you made a, ch a, ch a change or a transition, give it time to work. You know, don't expect things to just everybody to click on board with you right away. All right. They're showing me sort of like um, three people. So I don't know if you're if something friends or uh, partners that you're working with or colleagues. But, you know, give it time. Give them time. And give yourselves time to adjust and to adapt to this change. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at the card from the I already pulled from the bottom, and it's the card Peace. All right. So this is traditionally the Death card, but what this card is saying is this is about that it's going to show us that the the underlying goal in this week is releasing the past, as it says. That this is going to be a, 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 a week of a, a huge purge for you um, and you're going to be learning how to let go of some things in your life that you know that would just clutter to the heart clutter to your 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 goals and the things that you're trying to manifest and you're going to be releasing them um, and as it says in the next sentence, there's a more enriching future coming. So let go and let God. So don't focus on your problems. Leave that to the universe. Pray for what you want. Pray for inspiration. Focus where you're inspired. Focus on what you love. And let the, all the other things, the other pieces fall where they may so that things can fall together for you. Okay? So I send you lots of love and angel blessings, and thank you for joining us here again this week. Um, if you are looking for an angel reading, feel free to contact me at theangelschool.com on the services page where you can um, choose the reading that you would like. And um, my office hours are Monday through Friday, 12 noon to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so just be aware of that. Um, and... Um, if you and you can find that description link uh, below this video uh, if you haven't followed us for the daily card messages be sure to do that you can follow us through Twitter or the Facebook page the link is also at the um, in the description uh, link below this uh, video so have a wonderful week and God bless you all